Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today is the uh, summer solstice. So I've got a special unboxing here of a solar telescope. Um, this is a, a product that's been around for quite a while, and it's one of the simplest ways to safely view the sun, um, and it uses an indirect method. Um, but anyway, let's crack this guy open and see what we're working with. Uh, what I've got today uh, is a Mora knife. Um, it's a classic, standard Swedish knife that seems to have a huge following all over the world. So it's a good knife to open up the sun with, nice and bright. Um, I ordered this from Fisher Scientific, and right now they seem to have a pretty tremendous sale on them. Um, so you can get them for way less than uh, what they usually sell for. Um, Anyway, this is this is what it is right here. Comes pre-assembled, beautiful artwork essentially. This piece of of wood sculpture. What you've got first of all, this is the telescope part of it. Let me set that down. And what what it is is a triangle that has um, a lens right up here on the front end. This is what points towards the sun. Um, along with the lens cap, I'll get that off. And then the light goes through here, hits this mirror right here, and then hits this mirror, and then goes up through a hole inside here to another mirror up at the top. Let's see if you can get the light in there. Anyway, there's another mirror right here, and then it goes right through a lens. Um, let me grab this snap-on light comes in handy. Anyway, there's a lens down inside there, and then it projects the image right there on that um, on that flat area. So you usually put a piece of paper right in here. Each lens has a cover on it. I can pop those off because we're going to try this thing out. Um, they're first surface mirrors, so you have to be really careful with them. That means that the mirror coating is actually on the top of the mirror, not under the glass, so it's possible to scratch them quite easily. So anyway, this is kind of the magic of the uh, operation of the scope. And then for alignment, you can see here, it's going to sit in this cradle. So you've got a triangle basically in a circle, and it allows it to easily be adjusted in any direction. So let's get that part out. Here is the case got a cover. I'll open that in a second. So here's the rest. And what you've got here is a beautiful wood, um, let's get rid of that before I forget, a beautiful wood stand. And that stand allows this triangle to um, be positioned However, it needs to be. If you run out of juice there, you just flip it over and then you can continue to point on down. I don't know what you'd be doing at that level, but that's how this thing works. So once you've got it set up, you use this, uh, this gnomon here, and I'll simulate this with the light. Um, this casts a shadow. You see that there's a shadow? So you line it up until there is no shadow. And when there's no shadow, this is pointing straight at the sun. Then inside, oops, inside this are some other little sighting arrangements, these little dots here. So if I have a light coming in uh, right here into this system, um, I can actually see um, the alignment down here in terms of um, a dot. It's harder to see just with this, but with the sun, it's crystal clear what you're working with. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of other things. This is a... Uh, open my bag up. Uh, instructions paper that goes in there card this is a lens uh, tool basically it'll it fits on the inside of this lens if you need to to take that lens out and then this is the uh, 
uh, kind of a little nylon bag cover to protect it. Uh, I can open the thing. And that's just a simple little piece designed to slide right over the whole scope. And you can carry it with this handle. Um, I'll show you that up here. Um, there's a handle. Adjust the camera a hair here. So here's a handle. The way this works is down here there is a, a screw um, that you can um, go right into this opening here. There's only one, not on the other side, so you have to line it up. So put that in, find that hole, and then I can, once I've got the hole lined up, I can screw this in. Just like that, and now this whole thing can be picked up. So when I take my cover and drop it over the scope, just like that, I can get the handle, and there it is. I can take my tool and drop it in this little pocket. Anyway, so how does this work? Well, I'm going to set these sideways in here. They're actually a little bit too long for... Uh, the standard um, spacing but anyway what we've got now is a system that would allow the light to be projected through and then as you can see I'm moving the Sun instead of the scope but you can see that it forms a circle here that circle uh, you can then focus using the lens in here if you need to, or it might come nicely focused. And that shows you the sun, and it's about that big. If there are sunspots, if you wiggle the scope just a little bit, you'll see that the sunspots stay with the circle and not with the scope. So you're actually looking at those, and there are a few out there last time I checked. Um, and then you can also see how fast this moves. So you will literally see the sun not quite as fast as I'm doing here, but if you mark it, you will literally see how fast the Earth is spinning because the sun is moving. Um, so you'll have to constantly be adjusting this, you know, depending. But anyway, with the summer solstice here, longest day of our, our year in the Western Hemisphere, or Northern Hemisphere, excuse me, um, and it's good to, uh, to study what's going on around us, and this is a great tool for it. This is the Sunspotter. It's a solar telescope. And uh, right now, Fisher Scientific, literally, I got this for 134 bucks plus shipping, down from about 500 on other sites. So if you're interested in one, um, they're dynamite. They're amazing. Um, they're a classic and beautifully, uh, beautifully manufactured in the U.S. So with that, Doc out.